y'all, it's your favorite Christian lifestyle blogger, Lasha Sela. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to have you all joining me. Before we get right into me snitching on myself, as you can see by the title of this video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and definitely share. Also, turn on your notifications so every time I drop new content, you'll be the first one to know. Let's get right into this tea, honey. Dear future husband, mm, your feelings might be hurt, but your girl has to keep it real because that's how we are going to roll. So let's go. Okay, so um, I have chin hair. Yes, I do, um, which is not uncommon for women. It's hereditary, so my daughter will hate me. She will hate me for it, for these jeans. But I do have um, chin hair that I do trim or get waxed, whatever mood I, I you know, decide to do with them. So yeah, <laughs> I do have a dry scalp. Um, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mane, but my scalp is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, so the reason why I think my hair is able to thrive and be maintained is because I'm always conditioning and nurturing my scalp, which my hair just naturally benefits from. And uh, yeah, so all this gorgeous hair and this scalp is absolutely disgusting. I have corns on my feet. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My my feet is kind of weird in the sense of the front of my feet is like wider than my heel. I literally, I literally could, like most majority of my shoes, I can like slide them in and like clap, clap the back of my heel against like move it because it's loose back there. But my front of my feet are like snug. So because I wear heels and because my feet are just, I guess, your girl need custom, <laughs> customized. Speak it, speak it to, speak it to existence. I need custom my shoes, or just need buy wides, which are not wide size shoes. Are not really common. You literally, I believe like maybe high end shoes, like they that you might have to pay a little bit more. They have the wide um, versus the standard um, type fit. Um, because of that, um, you know my feet are snug, so I wear heels. You know I'm a fashionista, so I do have corns on my feet. And dear future husband, I do want my I do want foot massages. I do. So I need your hands on my feet. I'm saying you know right now, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do have a natural gap on the left side of my grill. That's also hereditary. My father tooth didn't grow in. I remember growing up as a child, I didn't see that. And I wonder like I wonder like what was going on. And after my baby teeth fell out and I got my actual, you know, adult teeth, yeah, my left grill never was completed and so more than likely my children might have the same thing with me and uh yeah so we'll just have to see we'll have to see if, that, if they actually get the trait if not woohoo for them but if they do i mean what's up so <laughs> my face is actually not symmetrical that's another beauty flaw um yeah i if you study my face you'll see that one side is slightly slanted up versus the other side. You really have to look at my face to really like see that. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm guessing the theory was I slept majority on one side of my face as my face was being formed or whatnot. And I sleep a lot now, so I'm like I can see that. And I use I used to not like taking frontal type pictures because to me I could see how my face was not symmetrical. But that's also not um um that's also um, it's very common. Um, you'll see people with good symmetrical faces, but some of us are not. And you know, I'm like, well, that's just me. So yeah, so I have these beautiful large features and you can see how like my face is not symmetrical. So that's another beauty flaw that I have. Another beauty flaw is that my knees knock. My knees knock, so my legs are not like your standard mannequin straight when I walk. My knees actually have to like rotate around the one another. When I walk, my knees actually have to like rotate, 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 rotate around the one another. Rotate, rotate, rotate around the one another. Rotate, 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 rotate. And my mother used to always pick on me on that because um, that's how my, my, my dad walks. And um, I'm slimmer now, so it doesn't really affect my rhythm on how I walk. 
but I knew like when I was heavier back in college when I gained my freshman 13 yes not 15 honey those two pounds was not on your girl so freshman 13 um it affected my walk a little bit so I can only imagine when I finally get married and finally get pregnant like how things gonna work out we just gonna have to wait till then <laughs> you guys will not know where they are but I do have flesh marks um you know um, being a slimmer whatever that is a slimmer girl um you know society uh, and not even giving birth to any children yet society thinks that um you know your skin is um you know uh, like just basically smooth and like markless when it comes to stretch marks not you know your natural scars from you know falling and stuff and scratching and stuff but like your stretch marks but i have stretch marks and yeah um I do. I have stretch marks, and as slim as I am now, as little as I am now, yeah, your girl got some tiger marks. Like tiger marks, I don't know. But yeah, I have that. I, okay, um, I barely have edges. Yeah, I barely have edges. I mean, in my in my in my opinion, I barely have edges. My mom told me growing up, I had gotten two pieces. Of, two pieces of gum and I stuck like I stuck them to the side of my head and I like tore them out or she probably cut them out I don't know and I'm like I wouldn't remember that traumatic experience but then again you do black out some things that your body just, like can't take as a, as, as a child but I don't remember that I do remember cutting the middle of my head in pre-k and pretending that was food when we had those little, little kitchen set ups and my, mom, my mother she was like she was so hot she was so hot because my hair was really long and I had basically cut my hair off and she was just like oh my gosh so I remember that but I also believe that the reason I'm edgeless or have minimal edges is because of traction you know having people do my hair as a child and pull it too tight on my edges now I know from my babies pray to god they come out with some edges that they don't have to worry about that because their mama gonna be on that so yeah your girl barely got edges y'all barely 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 that's pretty much eight beauty flaws I was able to sincerely come up with. Um, I couldn't think of any more, and so I was just like, I wanted to do ten because you know, ten is like a standard number for us. But I couldn't come up with any more. But the reason I did this video was to basically let you all know, all my beautiful women and men, if you're watching out there, that we were all created fearfully and wonderfully in God's image and growing up you know in society they want us to look all the same and have this one standard aesthetic look but in my bible that I read of my God he has crafted each and everyone specially for our own divine individuality here on earth and it is our job to shine our own light it is our job to shine our own beauty and our own right and our own attractiveness and to be who we are called to be i honestly do not care about what the society standards societal standards are of today i know i'm a queen i know i'm really good i know that i am a woman becoming daily i know that my flaws are not to be seen as failures but they're supposed to seen, be seen as things for me to grow and embrace so to grow from and embrace so i really listed eight flaws but i think they're absolutely beautiful and whoever got places in my life to marry me and to become my partner for the rest of my life he will gladly accept me for who i am as i would gladly accept him for who he is and you first have to know how to love yourself you first have to know who you are in god you first have to be you and know you in order to have somebody come in your life and compliment because no one can complete you but god hello somebody okay so they come in and they compliment your swag they compliment your beauty they compliment your charm and that's just where i am at i love every flaw about me i think it makes me absolutely unique and it just adds to me and and to be frank it's not the end all be all i have so much more to offer beyond my flaws that i don't really focus or harness on it for, for too long i've learned to forgive forgive myself i learned i've learned to accept myself to love on myself because at the end of the day no one else especially being a single a woman no one else is going to nurture to your feelings but yourself you come home to yourself you have to deal with yourself so if anyone is responsible of 
holding it down and making sure you're good aside from God is you. So I encourage you all to love yourself. Hey, I even encourage you all to do a 10 beauty flaw challenge. Let's get this going. List your flaws. See where, what they are or where they are and love on them. Because once you are truthful with yourself, no one can hang the truth over your head. Like, you're free from it. You know? So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, quick, quick video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and definitely share. And turn on your notifications so you don't ever miss this good content I'm giving y'all. But until next time, fam, I love you. It's your favorite Christian lifestyle blogger. Ain't no other but this one, honey. Rasha Stella. Bye. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media accounts. See you there. Rotate around one another.